Hi everyone, I'm going to try and do something today with these napkins. I've got them in Happy Mail and uh, thank you Anne. And she said she didn't know what to do with them and for me I told her it's going to be also a challenge. I never understood the fascination with uh, animal prints. So I've got this uh, paper napkins and this one. So I am quite uh, excited to take it as a challenge and do something uh, about it. And I'm thinking I'm going to uh, use this and make some kind of uh, abstr abstract uh, landscape. And I'm going to uh, look at these napkins as blocks of colors and uh, less as animal prints and whatever. And I also uh, raided my stash and brought two more uh, paper napkins that can also uh, work with the colors. Now, uh, I'm uh, going to start and as you can see, I'm going to do a double spread in my dictionary uh, original and the width of the paper napkin is not uh, all the way so I need to be <laughs> clever about it and work in all kinds of pieces and layers and when I'm uh, doing something like that and creating a, let a landscape and it doesn't matter if it's from paper napkins if uh, it's from scrapbook paper whatever I've got on hand I will always don't know why but I always uh, start from uh, up and going down so what I'm going to do is I need some uh, water and I'm going to put some water here and so I, ha I will have a little bit of control of the pieces that I take. I'm taking a paintbrush and dipping it in water and just taking part of the napkin and here it is I'm using a regular a white uh, glue nothing to it I didn't even add uh, uh, water just as it is so I'm not just doing my page I don't care if the text on the page is showing I think it just adds to the whole mix so I'm gluing it directly on my pages and I'm also going a little bit outside the edges just so I will have a complete coverage and when everything will be uh, dry I will trim the excess and here in the fold I'm very gently tapping it inside and smoothing now there will be wrinkles, I love wrinkles, they add for the, to the whole uh, thing and I'm not trying to get rid of them. So now I want another piece here and let's see. Again water and just... Right now, uh, I'm more concerned about coverage and uh, later on, I will. Uh, it will be more about which piece goes where on my landscape. Right now, I need to make sure that I don't have the white pages uh, picking out and again a little bit out and I'm smoothing with the flat of the brush so it won't drag and tear again in the fold just tapping it in lightly 
and here it is so now another piece again taking let's see Now I'm trying to avoid a straight lines on my collage. I, it's more noticeable and so the straight lines I keep for the edges and everything else I prefer to be a torn. Now I'm also going to overlap and that's one of the great uh, things about paper napkins that I really really love is that they are se semi-transparent and then you get more interesting stuff when you are layering them right now you can see I have a leaf here and I've got leaves here or whatever but when you are finished with the project you will have interesting background and not uh, what you uh, right now see so let's see I just need another piece here and tearing another piece now another thing about uh, creating a landscape and again it doesn't matter which kind of a uh, paper you use or even paint you need to decide where you is your uh, how do I say it horizon uh, <laughs> line just so you know what you're doing if you've got sea and you've got sky you need to decide where you want to pick your uh, to put your uh, the line it's easier to work this way so I've got this is going to be the sky and this is the coverage I have and now I want to use this two paper napkins and first of all I want to take uh, some of the elements like I want this uh, I, I don't know if you can see it, it there is a, a, a tiger here and I've got the lion and I want to take them out there we go and they are going here like I don't know like uh, animal spirits in the sky <laughs> for that matter I didn't want them to be the sky I so that's why I needed the coverage underneath them and I'm going a little bit out now even this is probably going to get covered afterwards with other layers that I'm planning and I'm uh, I'm taking now let's see let's take the elephant Oops, put my brush in the <laughs> in the glue instead of the water. Genius. Okay. I've got my elephant. And as you can see, I'm always adding more glue. I need to be sure that everything is covered. And although a paper napkins are really, uh, for me at least, are really easy to work with, if you don't put glue in one place on on the side, on the eye of the napkin is sometimes it creates problems it creates all kinds of uh, air bubbles and just not nice so I'm always uh, 
trying to make sure that I've got uh, everything covered with glue so I'm uh, still uh, taking out images and I'm thinking that I'm going to take yeah, I've got let's see maybe even with the word that I have here Africa I don't maybe let's see taking the giraffe out of the paper napkin and yeah let's go with it again making sure I've got glue here right now everything is looking a complete mess but it will take shape as we go along so bear with me and just let's see well I've got a little piece this I'm thinking I'll just put it here and like this mm. do I want anything else maybe from this paper napkin I'm thinking of taking this part to complete a this section of my um, landscape yeah okay so basically this is all the part of the sky for me and now I want to start and building uh, here my uh, let's say land of the the part of the landscape that is going to be land and I'm going to take first uh, this zebra pr print zebra okay and again trying to have some space to uh, take apart the paper napkin don't want straight edges so again doing the same thing I hope you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I've got my first layer and let's see where I want it. I'll go here. So again, putting down glue generously. <laughs> So 
smoothing it out not in terms of uh, abolishing the wrinkles just so I won't have air bubbles and that the paper napkin will go here in the fold nicely okay so I've got one layer and next I'm going to take uh, from this one I'm losing daylight so it's a problem to see what I'm doing here second layer like so again glue now it's just being patient and building let's say the layers of the land Now, uh, even uh, in this, if you don't like, uh, if you use the paper napkin for its color, not its uh, images on it like I'm doing here, and you're not sure that, you're, uh, that you like it, you can always go over it with uh, paint or with stamping, with whatever you have on hand. Do what feels right. For your own project it doesn't have to be precisely like mine so I'm now tearing a piece from this paper napkin So as you can see the animal prints are creating my land uh, and I'm also going to uh, let's say tint or paint this whole thing. I want some kind of cohesiveness <laughs> between all these uh, details so it needs work. I'm going to continue to add uh, some more pieces to uh, cover this section and then I'll come back. I'm back. So, trimmed the excess uh, in the edges. Uh, this is uh, almost completely dry and I want to continue to uh, putting down some uh, tint or paint uh, on top and uh, right now this uh, well it looks like a mess right so I'm taking now I have got here a goldenrod a acrylic paint deco art and I'm putting just a little bit here and adding water to it and I want to start going over a the sky section and let's hope it will work because I want to as I said more tint more a uh, wash than coverage 
I don't want to lose details so I'm just putting down this paint like so and now I'm adding a I've got bright orange and again water I want yellows and oranges in my sky and even though uh, it won't be completely uh, shown like hey I've got a giraffe here or a lion I still uh, there are still hint of them and there are still spirits in the sky <laughs> and adding to the whole thing so it's starting to take shape and now I just want to add some yeah, I've got here Tuscan Red by Deco Art so again a little drop and water and everything is quite um, wet so they are also mixing quite nicely so I have, I have all kinds of shades all kinds of tones of uh, paint I need more of the red Basically, this is the line of my uh, horizon. That's my sky, here is the land. And now I need to start working on this section. So, uh, now I want more brown here. And I'm just worried that I will cover it too much but I'll go gently I'm uh, this time I don't have um, the right shade of brown in my acrylic so I'm going to take I've got acrylic inks uh, and I'm going to take this one and try this is why do they do it so uh, small antelope brown So I'm putting a little uh, of it here and again adding water because I don't want coverage, I want to add a wash. And I'm hoping that it will bring everything together. And again this is only the start. Let's hope I didn't make a mess and that we will have something nice to look at at the end. If not, there is always the option of covering everything with gesso. <laughs> so, let's hope for the best. I need more. Okay, in terms of color, it's starting to take shape, and I need a little bit more of the brown, I think. Yeah, 
just a little bit more in several places. I love the lion that is uh, here in my sky. Okay, now this needs to be completely dry before I continue, so I'll be back. I'm back. So, uh, this is not completely dry, but as I'm looking at it, I'm feeling like I need the sky to be a little bit lighter. So, I've taken another yellow. This is buttercream deco art. And I'm putting down again a few drops and adding water. And I'm going to try and lighten a little bit the sky. I really like uh, all the colors, but I feel it's too dark. And I'm trying to blend it with the other colors. Well, maybe it worked. It needs to dry sometimes only after it, it dries you can see what's happening. Yeah. Let's hope for the best. Now I do need this to uh, be completely dry before I'm continuing. So I'll be back. I'm back. So now I want to make some a uh, tree here in this a uh, section and i want more a uh, defined a uh, horizon line and i'm going to take a black acrylic paint and i'm thinking something like that right now just putting down a line and i'll work on it uh, as we go so now I'm taking a fan brush with a black acrylic paint and I'm starting to dab it here on the page to try and create uh, the foliage of a tree So, and I'm going to make the trunk with the permanent marker to make my life easy <laughs> and some branches and now that I'm working with the marker I can feel that my page is not completely dry still moist so let's hope for the best as usual I hope I'm in frame and you can see what the, the heck I'm doing and I just putting down here a tree and I think it's going to frame nicely my page at this sec section and now Just working with the pieces here. I'm uh, trying to make them more defined, 
planet. And I don't really care about accuracy. This is an abstract. I'm trying to make uh, all this look a little bit more dim dimensional than it is right now. That's why all the layering. So now I'm trying to do, uh, make them more defined. and add to the whole mix and I'm thinking I need more a uh, trees like this one only this one is really in the foreground and I want some uh, smaller ones in the background and I've taken a smaller a fan brush and as you can see I'm just dabbing it and let's make another one Yeah. So I'm going uh, now to wait for it to dry and make the the trunk and the branches for each one of these trees and we'll see how I, I'm going to continue. I I'm just in love with the uh, lion here. I hope you can see it and not only me. Maybe I'll just uh, bring it closer so uh, you can see it. Here it is. So I'm waiting for everything to be completely dry to make the trunks and the uh, branches and then and I'll be back. I'm back. So here are my trees and for me this is it that's my page I'm quite satisfied uh, maybe I could have blended more uh, all these patterns but I'm leaving it and I think it's quite going with the theme of the page so I just and I don't know if you remember but on one of the napkins it was a a written Africa in bold letters here and it kind of got lost under all these uh, uh, layers so now I'm just taking this kind of uh, I've got this uh, stickers and I'm just putting them here just another detail to the page A or C? Never mind, I'll change it <laughs> later. It's good that uh, the adhesive on these uh, stickers is not uh, great. So, if I need to be... Although, when I'm looking at uh, the letters that were on the paper napkin, I see a K here. So, whatever. That's it. That's my page. I hope uh, you liked it. Uh, thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.